Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Chloe plays. It's just me here tonight. Um, Ashley is on late shifts, so he won't be here for a bit. Um, what am I doing? I want to make sure... What I'm going to start doing is start moving forward. I just want to test that this stream is working. Keep moving, sis. Keep moving. How's it looking? It's looking fine. Cool. We've had some problems recently with the stream being really laggy. So that's why I'm just double checking Back it. Back to work, boy. Because I don't want to be streaming for like ages and then. Um, it looks rubbish and I've just wasted my time and your time. Cool, so there's a couple things to do. Where are we? I think we're in Valentine, aren't we? There's a question mark and then there's. I think it's Javier. I'm going Valentine. Is it ba 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 ba? Let's see if we can go towards the question mark. See what Come on. Give a oh. Alright. Give me a dime. Uh, give me something. Uh, Hello. Uh, I just want to get a drink. Oh, I'm wondering if it's... So whoever it is, they are in here. General store. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia Saloon oh, back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. Uh, this language. is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well... I reckon right now, you kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. <laughs> He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either <laughs> I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. <laughs> well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. Same. This book, <laughs> I've got to make a thing of it. And, and well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never Ooh. heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot him. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, <laughs> ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. <laughs> How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. Ooh. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. But here are some other flop house. Cool. Um. Yeah. 
You best not start no more trouble around here. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. Happy to assist you in a moment. Ready for a clean slate? Yeah. May I help you? Not really what I wanted at the moment when Good I don't have you. a lot of money. Hot one Oh, wow. I smell like a half stewed hog. Yep. I want you to 
to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? <laughs> Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. There hey, he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy and punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> 
Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Gross. <sighs> Actually, you can get um washed in my um, hotel. Whether they actually have a hotel. Oh, they do. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, it's uh you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? Please, God. Yes. No. Paid for bath. <laughs> Stay at my foot. Oh, that's a washing machine. <laughs> oh God, this is like an immersive experience. Can I be of any assistance in there? Yeah, sure, let's, let's, let's have Sure, sounds good. <laughs> this is so weird. Good, now don't you worry about a thing. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. Sorry if I don't say much. I'm just kind of worn out right oh, now. Oh, of course. All right, that's perfect. Thanks. I want a bit more of a bath. See you then. Bath the bath. Oh, there we go. He's clean now. Needed that bath. It was gross. Evening, partner. No meal is complete. Evening, Mr. Dark as well. So we go if we can go to sleep and have a shave.
just be wandering around here, friend. how I like offers. This is the money box. Not that we can donate a lot to it, but... Good morning, Arthur. I suppose you could donate, like, Good morning, Arthur. some speaking to do of your own. Not that old gang of yours. I said, I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah. Who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just 
is going to cause you trouble. <laughs> you know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are going to talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll is holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. Okay, then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed it. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Uh, I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You gotta pay your buddies our respect. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. Oh, John, I'm taking you to him. Look, I'll, I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knots in your saddlebag. Doug said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it? Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. Damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason and hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, old Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. <laughs> I got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Well, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young fella. <laughs> right at the forefront of it. I swear, I promise, I am taking you to Combe as best as I can. You'll see, I'll make good. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Those are the hills, head for them. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us, then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them? You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. 
nature. You're out for yourself. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. Don, <laughs> shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. Oh, oh going in quiet. Taking them out. I feel like these batteries don't last very long at all. Right, give me a sec. <laughs> Out as we find them, trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? <laughs> okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right then. Through the trees here. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Hey! Can we not get enough of her? Yeah. Follow me, all right? Um, it ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't. Friends. Cool. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, there, there, you see? Okay, get down. Cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yup. You call him O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. We ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell them yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay. Go to work. Hush. Hush now. He's down. Don't you damn move. Hey, the next two. What's the plan? Let's get close to these two. Make no mistakes here. That's what the knife's for. When we're there, 
We move at the same time. Sooner we get this over with. This is what I live for. You ready? Good work. Moving on the cave. We left our guide up there. He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. Better on the law. What are we doing about him? Take him quiet, Marston. Okay. Get your hands dirty for a change. Jesus. Okay. Now what? We're at the perimeter. What are we doing? Time to move on him. You ready? As I'll ever be. Let's go. How you doing, Uncle? Yes, Karen. Oh, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Como Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here! He was here, I swear! I swear. I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. So? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, it's usually some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. Hey, Bill. 
You tell Dutch old Kieran ain't worth killing. Just yet. You're right you are. You got something tucked away? Let's go to Jose. <laughs> that was a fun one. Yep. I don't want to stay too long at these places because there'll be a, a, um, someone that's just passing.
clothing I'm just going to love them I'm going to donate some money to the camp oh but not hey Arthur what you want <laughs> you one sour son of a bitch ain't you only when I see you only when I see you <laughs> I think it's gonna be the bad one. I don't really like the bad one. Just do it. Right. Hey, Isaac. Yeah. Who's he? Who's the dumb? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading, exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but oh. ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer yeah, there. So we'll unload him. You can buy is. yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. My last horse was... Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses, and the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This one's massive. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. I'd be gone a couple of days. This is a, a good massive range of horse, horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there 
came back in the next day and he woke up started right back drinking again <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys Jenny too she had some spot that girl it must be pretty hard on Lenny you could tell he was sweet on her well Lenny and Jenny could never have worked that's like Arthur and Martha or Bill and Phil <laughs> feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Uh, he's all right. Yeah, good boy. My last horse was called Nugget. And I think we called it, and my one before that, I called it Crit. Because after. Stables are just up ahead. <laughs> they, use, they don't. But there was. Well, I think they actually. In some all companies, right. they do. Go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going out to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about this one here? Looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? Nope. No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. That's the one. Mm, can't wait for that one. Oh, it's tiny. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to go through the middle. This is a. <laughs> so I've had pre I've had nugget. Um. It's like an important, um, um, I like to call my horse, that's something funny, like chicken nugget, um, oh, this feel like this is a pinnacle moment, and I don't know what to call my horse. Oh, have we got any suggestions in the chat? Is anyone watching? We've got one viewer. We need suggestions. Let's Google it, shall we? Funny names for a horse. Horse around, hoofy heart. Those aren't funny. Unless I call it, <laughs> oh, hold on, this one's good. Um, bit knee, spit, spurs. Bling 180, I don't think those are funny. 
Mm. Buck, buck, goose. Um. Harry Trotter. Oh my God, Harry Trotter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's sold. Harry Trotter. <laughs> I just saw that. Is it double T? Potter. Like Harry Potter, but Harry Trotter. partner you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse i hope so well i don't sell anything other than good animals you have my word on that here are your papers and on me a new grooming brush and some treats <laughs> appreciate it you, you treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. <laughs> Not bad, Arthur. You happy? I guess we'll see. Oh, that's cool, girl. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. Go. Sorry guys, give me one minute. Um, what time is that? I mean, I've just had someone come to the door. Don't know if you guys heard that. 
Um, I forgot I was on stream. What time is it? Mm, so an hour left to go. Um, I'm going to pause it here for now because. Um, oh no, I'll, I'll keep. I'll finish this. What's this lake we're heading for? Um, it's called O'Cray's Run. The past is really important. I just hope I can remember how to get um, there. I saw Back it into the now. mountains. I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. with you and John. Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised it. I know, but it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long, and you know it. Maybe, but please don't you put that to the test. Oh, it's just we ordered like super fast delivery on this. It was supposed to come Saturday and it never came. It's Tuesday today. They've delivered it to the wrong damn address and it's a consistent problem. Um, down here. I'm just delivering it to the wrong house. I know it's confusing. Okay. A lot of that. I think we need to head right up here. Still. place, Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Ooh. about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. To try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal. Like that. <laughs> Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them <laughs> with a shotgun, if I remember right. Easy there. I swear it's a dynamite. <laughs> it's like yeah. Let's go. Oh, there it is. Good job. 
All right. Getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get us set up. Well, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <laughs> you want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this plate. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. What's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track them, but we might need to lay bait to draw them out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. Tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned up. Bear meat. How you getting on with that bait? Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Okay, let's go. All right, girl. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. Oh, my God. Why do I do that? Do that. We'll scare him off. Sorry. That's about How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? Yeah, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. It didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out and staying in. It's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. tracks, dung, bones, any kind of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went?
this way. See if there's anything else. Optimism, Arthur? Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? I'm not splitting up. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Really so much like nervous about like, so it makes so anxious. More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey. Did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? I see I'm nervous. Never. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Yeah. Sure. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Oh, this is it. This is we it. Had here. Got your knife? Shit. <laughs> Easy. No, it's too close. I'm fine. It's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> 
He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I don't mind that. I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going, then. disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon. Look into something. See you later. Cool. Hey, that mission. Right, I'm gonna stop that there. Save. Yes, cool. Um, what time is it? Seven. Okay, I've got I've got some stuff to do. Um, for oh, for bedtime. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, and that um you have a good yeah you just have a good day good week. And I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. And see ya. Have a good night. Bye.